many of you were putting a comment that you want a ppt on lubrication so here i am that today we are going to discuss about types and mechanism of lubrication uh, hello everyone i am neha and in the playlist of lubricant we have already discussed that what is the meaning of lubricant so lubricant or lube is basically a substance which reduces friction right now how does it reduces friction that's a process and that process is known as lubrication wherein it is basically the process by which the uh, lubricant reduces friction and reduces the wear and tear of the machine now what are we going to discuss today would be the mechanism of lubrication and that would be of two three types like first would be hydrodynamic or a thick film lubrication the second would be thin film lubrication and the third is extreme pressure lubrication so in this ppt you are going to see that if the moving and sliding surfaces are different then how does a lubricant work so the lubricant works in three directions either the thickness of the film is very high or it is not that high you call it as a thin film what is the other name of thick film lubrication you can call it as a fluid film also because here normally the liquid lubricants are used for uh, the lubrication and another aim is hydrodynamic lubrication which is developed because of the force which is utilized in this type of mechanism second is thin film lubrication obviously it works on the thickness of the film which we have applied in the machine so it's comparatively thinner than this one that's why you call it as a thin film lubrication and at the same time it looks like a boundary between the two surfaces a very thin boundary and that's why the another name could be boundary lubrication and the third type will only work when the machine is working in extreme pressure condition so let us discuss them one at a time so i'm talking about the thick film lubrication as i said that the thickness has to be high so what is the value the value is greater than 1000 i'm strong so right now what i'm saying is this thickness the thickness of the lubricant which is between two sliding surfaces if two metallic surfaces are supposed to slide over each other then they should not have a contact and to avoid that contact we have to place a film in between and that film you call it as a lubricating film if the thickness of film is greater than 1000 m strong you call it as a thick film lubrication now here how does this thickness increases is because of the formation of a oil wedge let me show you like if two machines are rotating like shaft and bearing are rotating and they are rotating at a very high speed right so because of that high speed and the load what happens is a pressure is created in between due to which the pressure due to which this layer is filled with the lubricating oil so what happens is when the machine starts running the oil takes up this place this oil uh, barrier separates this uh, surface from this surface so these two surfaces does not come in contact and you can call it as a wedge right so what i'm trying to say here is a force is developed or a wedge is developed a pressure is developed due to which the lubricating oil gets inside the two surfaces and the two surfaces does not come in contact now this kind of wedge is known as hydrodynamic wedge and that is why the another name of this particular mechanism is hydrodynamic mechanism hydrodynamic lubrication so this is a thick film coming to where should you, should you apply this so obviously the instruments wherein you cannot afford to have the two surfaces in context so obviously these has to be delicate instruments or the scientific instruments wherein uh, these two surfaces should not come in contact so there should be a barrier a, a layer of oil in between fine so li liquid lubricants are normally used here now coming to the boundary lubrication on a thin film now as i said that the thickness would be less so here the thickness would be less than 1000 m strong and it's typically act as a boundary between the two surfaces now this is the surface and it typically act as boundary so here uh, the condition is such that the machines are working at a low speed and since they are working as a low speed there is no hydrodynamic wedge or a pressure created generated due to which the lubricant takes up this place and that is why the thickness becomes less and that is why they have called it as a thin film so it is not possible here to establish that fluid uh, condition especially at a low relative speed and that is why in this such kind of machines the frictional force can only be reduced by having this less thin uh, film you may say the thickness should be less 
obviously when the thickness is small then oiliness that means the stickiness the ability with which the lubricant sticks to the metallic surface becomes very important so here if the speed is high and uh, you know the load is high then obviously these aspirites come in contact and then they may have a worn out situation you can have a wear and tear situation but what happens in the boundary film when the speed is low and the load is very high such kind of pressure does not gets generated and that's why there is a very thin layer so you may call that that these two surfaces will have a contact if it is a thin film lubrication while is that was not the case with thick film now what happens here in boundary lubrications the solid lubricants are generally used and they uh, are certain additives which you can use you know the blended oil or the synthetic oils are used here specifically because you have to cope up with that uh, very speed uh, the low speed and the high load and uh, you may call that the third mechanism is basically generation of a thin film mechanism only we are not only the liquid lubricant is able to work but then why it is not able to work because the pressure is very very high right when the pressure is very very high the lubricant may not remain uh, to the position it may decompose it may vaporize so basically it is not serving the purpose neither thin nor thick conditions are maintained no pressure is generated so thick film cannot be possible even thin film also is not possible because the lubricant fails to stick right so in that case what you are supposed to do i am talking about which case i am talking about only one case very very extreme pressure condition so for that you have to add special additives now what they do the additives react with your lubricant and then they change into a derivative and that derivative is quite strong in order to sustain that much of the pressure so these additives helps in making the more durable or more strong lubricant and they are capable of withstanding that high load and temperature normally chlorine sulfur and phosphorus are used as an additive they react the oil reacts it forms this derivative and as i said this derivative is comparatively stable with respect to the original lubricant coming to what we have done so far is majorly these two uh, uh, lubrication methods are there let us quickly revise them in the form of a table thick film lubrication and thin film the first difference lies in the thickness of the film greater than 1000 amstrong though you have to remember it has to be greater and it has to be lesser so i hope this point is clear that the thickness is quite high now uh, the here the forces which are applied are weak van der waals forces fine that is why the thickness is quite high the molecule though are you know joined together but they are held together with a weak van der waals forces and here the bonds are chemically strong right and that is why they have a bond length the molecule come closer and the thickness decreases because here the to maintain that thin film now the molecule has to react chemically with the substance and that is why i said that the solid lubricants uh, generally are used or blended or synthetic one are used here now coming here since no contact is essential in that condition only we are supposed to use thick film the barrier should be strong right so that is applied in sophisticated and delicate instruments only however here uh, it can be applied to any machine where the contact of surface is not a problem there is not much of the friction or aspirites present in the system uh, coming to the last one it is you have to remember this that the speed and load is uh, the speed is very high right and here the speed is very low then uh, the lubrication mechanism would be different see if the speed is very high obviously there will be a pressure generation hydrodynamic wedge will be formed because of that force the oil will come into uh, the layer 1 and layer 2 it will take up that place and the thickness is strong so it's very simple if the speed increases the pressure development takes place while here the speed is very low so that much pressure is not created and obviously the load is very high when the load is very high the pressure is going up then the thickness obviously decreases so these are the four main uh, differences between thick film and thin film if we'll consider to the literature sometimes they say mixed lubrication as well where both of the lubrication mechanism work sometimes they say that extreme pressure is a kind of thin film and all but for me i guess uh, as of now for a basic understanding you may quote that the lubrication mechanism could be a thick film could be a thin film could be a extreme pressure so i guess with that you are able to understand the mechanism uh, if you have liked the content please hit like and subscribe for more of the content also please let me know if any of the topic you want me to cover because this ppt i have made just because i was getting the comments to make a presentation on mechanism of lubrication i hope uh, you have understood it well thank you so much